Hi, in this episode of Kitchen Dance, we're talking guacamole. I know, guacamole. Some people love it, some people hate it. A lot of people in my family didn't like it at all until I made this recipe. It's more of a guacamole salad, but we're gonna take some things that are fresh like avocados and cilantro onions, some lime and garlic, and make something terrific. So stay tuned for Cliff's guacamole salad. Now for this recipe, the first thing we need obviously are some ripe avocados. I have a great video on how to select avocados, but for now let's do a little mini lesson. We're looking for two things. We're looking for color. And you can see here, this is a very green color versus kind of a more of a, towards a blackish color. We're also looking for uh, um, the texture or the, the firmness, ripeness of the avocado. The best way to determine whether an avocado is ripe is to give it a little squeeze. Now we want to be sticking our fingers in avocados because if there's not ripe, you're going to cause a bruise mark and it won't be good for the next person. You can just take it and gently squeeze it in your hand. The, the amount of pressure you're looking for is about the same as if you were to make a fist and push right here. That's, it gives a little bit. That's how much this avocado should give. Okay, we're also looking for Haas avocados. We're going to make guacamole with Haas avocados. There's another, flor there's another avocado that's called a Florida avocado. We don't want those. It's a little bit uh, different from a taste profile. So for any of these guacamole recipes, choose Haas avocados. Now the best way to open an avocado is just to take a knife and simply cut through to the pit right? and then just rotate it around the knife blade. Then all you need to do is twist and there you go. Let's do this one. Now we need to get the pit out. Again, very simple. You, want to make, you, want, you don't make a big hatchet mark because you don't want to cut your fingers or your hand. So you want to go ahead and make just a small little hatchet mark and we want to get rid of the pit. We're going to use also with this recipe, we're going to use one onion and we're going to use some nice, one bunch of cilantro, a couple cloves of garlic, some salt and pepper and a little Worcestershire sauce. So now we need to get the avocado meat out of the avocado. Again, very simple. Just take a spoon. There's some fancy tools that you can use. A spoon works great. Just push it gently till you reach the skin. And there you go. Great avocado meat. Again, let's take these out. And one more. This also gives you the opportunity to pull out any parts that might be a little bit overripe. Right, now we're going we're gonna to take these avocados and we're going to put them into just some big chunks, some big cuts. We're going to mash this up with a fork when we're done so we don't really need to mince it here at all. We're going to take two cloves of garlic. We want it crushed, so basically just take your garlic clove, I've peeled it already, put your knife blade down and smash it. Give it a smash. Give it a smash. Then you can do is you can chop it up. You want a fine chop. Some of you that like a stronger garlic flavor, you can leave bigger chunks. But we're going to go ahead and just chop this up. Now, we are going to use half of a medium onion. And when I say medium onion, I'm looking for something just a little bigger than the size of a baseball. All right? If you like more onion, this, this recipe actually has more onion than normal because that's what my family likes. If, if you like less onion, you use less onion. But we're looking for something that's a little larger than a baseball. For the, for, we're looking for, for, for a very fine chop. So this is about uh, how much we're going to chop this. Right? I did this for the sake of time. So we're going to use about a half to three quarters of a cup of onion. We're going to take some cilantro. We're taking a nice, nice head of cilantro. I prefer more cilantro. Again, this is not a traditional guacamole. This is more of a guacamole salad. We're probably going to use this bunch. And we're going to chop this up. We don't have to mince it completely, but we want a nice, a nice fine chop. Then we want to add the juice of one lime. We're going to roll it first to break up some of the fibers inside so we get a little more juice when we, when we open this thing up. We're going to do juice of one half. And then the juice of the other half. Wow, man, that smells so good. 
All right, let's clean this up a little bit. From here, we're gonna use some salt, about a teaspoon. Again, it's to taste whatever you like. We're gonna use some fresh ground pepper. And a shot of Lee Perrins, or whatever brand you like, Worcestershire sauce. Probably, uh, probably two, ta two tablespoons. All right, now we're gonna mash this up. A lot, of, a lot of guacamoles are smooth and creamy and I think part of the texture that turns people off. I think the reason that people like this is it's a little more chunky, it has a little more uh, texture to it. You get some crunch of the onions, you get, you get, you get a lot of flavor from the, from the uh, cilantro. So we're gonna keep working on this. If you like bigger chunks, leave the chunks bigger. We kind of like um, most of the chunks gone it helps kind of blend with the chunks of the, of the onion and of the cilantro. Some people like to add some crushed tomatoes in here or chopped tomatoes or even a little salsa. This is your recipe. Take this recipe, make it your own. All right. Put some of this on a plate. We're gonna add some chips. Make this for your next party or after school snack. I guarantee it won't last long. 